Hey guys, got another multi-tool review here, and um, I actually already posted this review um, on this knife. Um, this is the Victorinox Deluxe Tinker. However, um, I don't feel that my review really did it justice, and um, I think I left stuff out. So I'm going to reshoot it, and I'm going to pull that other video off, and I'm going to repost, and I'm going to post this one. So um, the POU or philosophy of use that I would put this in is mainly going to be an EDC knife. Um, or an outdoors knife. Uh, probably not the best tactical choice. And this is actually my personal choice for an EDC multi-tool. This is what I carry. Now, getting into the tool evaluation, it comes with a can opener and a small flathead on there. Now, um, Wanger and Victorinox have a little, have very drastic different designs on their can openers, and um, so there you go. There, there's a big difference there, and some people say that the Wanger works better, but this one you get that extra flathead. So if you don't use it a ton, it's worth the sacrifice. Um, I'm not so sure that's true, and I'm probably going to do a. Um, a test and just do a head-to-head -head comparison of the two brands can openers and I'll show me opening cans on film and kinda give you my impressions of it and uh, kinda settle that okay now over here you have a um, wire stripper ca cap lifter and large flathead uh, this is a very uh, tool I use a lot and actually, I was at the range the other day, and um, I needed to adjust my red dot, and this big flathead came in handy, and that fit in there just perfect. So this was a great tool to have. Also for prying and stuff, um, you don't want to pry too much on this, but it, it can do that. Um, and then the thing that this Deluxe Tinker has that I think really kind of sets it apart from a lot of other Swiss Army knives and allows it to maybe compete with some of the more traditional multi-tools that you maybe think of, like the uh, Leatherman Juice, um, that type of multi-tool, um, is these pliers. Now, yes, these pliers, well, I know these pliers aren't up to maybe the standards of the Leatherman Juice. Those are much more heavy-duty, um, more nuts and bolts type capabilities you get with those. However, these ones um, are more like needle-nose pliers. And those are the type of pliers that I use the most. Um, I don't use the nuts and bolts type pliers. And I've, I carried traditional multi-tools before. And um, I just didn't use those pliers that much. Um, it wasn't one of my most used tools. And uh, everyone has different tool needs and they run into different problems and things that need to be fixed each day. So for me, um, these pliers are adequate and these will do the job. Then I have scissors here, and these are probably my most used tool. Um, I love having scissors on me. For opening packages, you know, like thick plastic uh, packages, um, opening, I don't know, toys at Christmas, I don't know, just lots of stuff. They're, scissors come in handy. Um, you can cut stuff in the car, you know, bouncing around and stuff. And a knife can accomplish pretty much the same stuff as scissors most of the time, but scissors can do it in a... Uh, maybe a safer way sometimes and uh, I don't want to get cut if I don't have to <laughs> now next you have your large blade on here and um, m the way I carry this I carry my normal EDC knife and then this accompanies that for extra tool capabilities so um, this is really kind of a bonus and the only time that I really maybe use this is on lighter tasks where I don't need a locking blade because I have this one um, or maybe if I'm around people that are very um, they get freaked out if you pull out a knife you know if, if you pulled this out and flung this out and started cutting stuff they'd be kinda nervous so maybe I'll use the one on the Swiss Army knife I mean it's a Swiss Army knife you know Boy Scouts have Swiss Army knives it's pretty harmless everyone knows what a Swiss Army knife is so this is maybe more um, uh, conscious of those types of people. 
and then you have your small blade on here. Now, I kind of prefer what Wanger does and the way they set it up in that what they do is they have this large blade. This is a Wanger Handyman. I'll, I may have a review out on it already. Um, I'll probably put it in that corner over there if I annotate it or um, put a link to it. They have their large blade and then they have a nail file. Now I think that that's better because um, I'm al I already have two blades. I don't need three. And um, a nail file is more handy or more useful to me than a small blade. So maybe a little bit on that. Um, their nail file is not perfect. Um, I talked to that in this review. But I think it's better than this little small blade. And then on the back, you have a Phillips head driver, which I use a lot. I think that's a very valuable tool to have on you. Um, this space on on lots of Swiss Army knives I've seen, you can either put a corkscrew here or you can put a Phillips head there. Um, that's pretty much how they what they do when they're designing it. And I think that the Phillips head is much more valuable than the corkscrew. If you need a corkscrew, you're probably going to be in the kitchen already. Then they have an awl here. Now this is an excellent awl. It has that sewing eye. So if you had to sew with this, you could. It kind of has that groove in there and a sharp edge on there. A very sharp edge. And so you can really scrape out material with that. Uh, that comes in handy for drilling tasks. Maybe if you're setting traps in the woods. Now this does not have a saw on it, so it's maybe... So if you need a saw for setting maybe triggers and stuff on your traps, this may not be the best option. Um, just making an extra hole in your belt if your belt's too big. Um, so I, I like having this tool on me. And then um, this is what they call a parcel hook. Um, I'm not really, they say like you can carry your package with this if it's tied with string or something. I think that's pretty ridiculous. Um, so uh, just a hook on there that, um, I don't know, you can probably use a hook for lots of different things. So, has that on there. And then last but not least, you have your toothpick and your tweezers. So, um, this is a pretty well-equipped little knife, and um, along with maybe an EDC slash defensive blade, uh, you have a lot of capabilities here, a lot more than most people. Now the weight on this thing, um, it, they, Victorinox does not list it on their website, and I don't have a scale. However, um, from watching a Nut and Fancy review, the one of the versions of the uh, Tinker, the version that does not have these pliers, but has everything else, that weighs 3.6 ounces, and he shows that on his scale. So, um, with the addition of that one tool, I'm going to say this is probably right around 4 ounces. Uh, maybe a little less. So that gives you kind of a general bar ballpark idea of the weight that you're going to be dealing with here. <clears throat> the price on here... Um, the price on here is between 35 and $40 um, online. That's of 2010. Uh, Prices will always change over time, so if you run into this later, sorry, guys. As far as I know, availability is fine. Um, competition for this, um, oh, I'm sorry, one other thing I forgot, colorations. Um, this comes in black, I know, black scale. Um, and I'm not sure about any of the other colors. Um, I don't know if it comes in clear scales or like the clear red, clear blue, or um, silver tech scales. I'm not sure about any of those. Um, if you're seriously interested, go look for yourself. I, I'm not sure. <clears throat> but um, this is kind of the just the tool set that I found that fits me, my, me and my needs best. And um, it's not too heavy in comparison to maybe some of the medium sized tools that are maybe five to six ounces this is pretty good now the so competition out there for this would probably be um, other Victorinoxes that have different tool sets and there's other tinker models that have maybe if you they have this the uh, uh, wrench without the scissors and the scissors without the wrench so um, there's those options 
uh, Wanger probably has some stuff out there that would compete. Um, any of the traditional multi-tools from like Leatherman, uh, maybe the uh, Squirt or the uh, Juice, um, some of the Gerbers. Um, so there's there's lots of competition out there. So if this isn't what you're looking for, keep looking. Now, um, the sheath that comes with it, at least when I bought it, was this leather sheath. And um, I hate this sheath. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to put out a separate review just on this sheath. Um, so it doesn't come with good sheath. What I'm doing is this is a sheath that came with a different, it's a, it came with a Gerber multi-tool. And this fits in here fine. It's actually, this is a little too big, but it fits in there okay. And I have sewn a molly lock on the back there. So I have quick release. And I know it's a little bit uh, heavier, but the convenience is uh, worth the price to me. So, hope that helps guys, and uh, I'll give you guys a look at that. So, see ya.